I want to talk to you guys today about Bandzoogle. So Bandzoogle is a website platform built by musicians for musicians that makes it easy to build a beautiful website and EPK for your music. All the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including hosting and a custom domain name, dozens of fully customizable design templates, and I'm seeing a lot of podcasters starting to use the Bandzoogle platform. I think Bandzoogle has been around since 2003, uh, and they've got close to 60,000 paid members using the platform right now, most of which I assume are musicians. But again, I'm seeing a lot of podcasters and a lot of people within the creative industry using Bandzoogle, taking advantage of their commission-free crowdfunding feature, commission-free fan subscription features, commission-free ways to sell your merch. They've got a great new integration with Printful, by the way, and commission-free ways to sell your music. And so this is so much better than Patreon. I've actually priced it out. If you've got 10 fans on Patreon and you're charging them $10 a month, what Patreon is taking in fees is the entire pro subscription plan at Bandzoogle. So in other words, in Bandzoogle, if you're on their pro plan, you pay $200 a year and that's it. And Bandzoogle keeps adding more and more tools as the, the music industry changes and the entertainment industry changes. With their latest integration with Printful, for example, I assume they've kept a lot of people from going out to the post office in the middle of a pandemic. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about how I really made Bandzoogle's website work for me as a podcaster. Again, you don't have to be a musician, but when you go on Bandzoogle's platform, in order to pick a theme for your website, um, they're categorized by music genres. So I think I'm using the Entourage theme right now, but you'll see when you go on there, you can look through the rock themes, the hip hop themes, the jazz themes. I thought it was really fun to go and kind of pick a theme that matches my podcast based on the music genre. I think that'll be fun for anybody, even if you're not a musician. But anyway, I want to start with the blog feature. If you go into the blog settings, Bandzoogle, I actually didn't know this, they provide you with an RSS code to get your podcast distributed to Apple Podcasts and all that good stuff. So you enter a short description, a long description, adding your artwork, everything that Apple Podcasts needs. I didn't know that again. So I'm using Buzzsprout. And the great thing about Bandzoogle's blog feature is that it really integrates well with every third-party code. And I have, I've used a lot of third-party codes embedded in Bandzoogle's blog, and I've never had an issue. Um, so if I go into Buzzsprout here, which is what I'm using, you can see that in every episode, they give me embed this one episode. And I copy the code, and that's what I'm using in Bandzoogle's blog. Now, if I scroll down on my homepage here, you can see that this is also an embed code from Buzzsprout. You can embed the player here, really customize it to look like your Bandzoogle website as far as the colors go. And as I scroll down here and I go into the blog section. So this is my blog here or my episodes. And then if I go up here and I hover over the episodes page, you can see that I've got them categorized. Entrepreneurship, musicians, wedding industry. So when I'm going in and creating a blog post or an episode, okay, I am picking which category I want my podcast episode to appear in. So do I want it in the musician category, the wedding category? I can make another category and so on. After you do that and click update, Go ahead and try and find your episode in Bandzoogle. So, in other words, let's pick this one. And after you find your episode, scroll down and see if you can see where it says what category it's in. I'm going to click on that category. And these are all of my episodes that I've put in the musicians category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link up here and create a new page in Bandzoogle using this link nested under my episodes page. So you can see I've got the wedding industry category here and all of these episodes 
are in the wedding industry category. Now you notice here I had to scroll down a lot. It's really important to put your transcription on your Banjool episode page. Notice I still have that big player at the top here. I've even added some custom buttons down here, but it's really important to have your transcription to get found on Google, especially with Banzoogle. They have such clean code. They have such great SEO. Uh, you really wanna upload your transcription because on Google, you can't search for what's inside of an audio file, right? You can only search for words. So I use Descript, which, uh, which transcribes this for me automatically. But let's go back here for a, for a moment too. One other thing that I always try and incorporate in my blog posts on Banzoogle, the show notes, of course, linking back to your guest websites. I'm giving them a little taste of what else they could check out on my blog that's similar to this episode. So this episode is in the musicians category. So I made some custom links here. Hey, check out my other recent music episodes. And I'm listing other links that they can check out. And with this too, by the way, I have had a couple of episodes embedded here where they would kind of disappear. I would have to refresh the page and then I'd see the player again. If you have a disappearing player, just go back and re-embed it and try putting it somewhere else in your episode. It's very rare that it's happened to me, but that was a way that I was so happy that I was able to fix it by just embedding it in a different place in my episode. So the next thing I want to do is talk about how I'm getting these Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, listen on Spotify logos integrated with Bandzoogle here. Now, this is a manual process, but you could do some copy and pasting into another Google Doc to make it really, really easy the next time around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into an episode. So let's go into, let's go into my latest one here. And what I'm going to do is go into my images. First, you got to decide where you want to place it. And... Let's try and put it right here. So I'm gonna go into my images. I'm actually gonna use one of my new ones here, one of my new logos here. Okay, listen, Apple Podcast. You're gonna right click the image properties, make that small to the uh, to the left. And then you're gonna edit the link. And with this, I always like to do open up in a new window so they don't leave your website completely. Oops. All right, and let's do one more. Let's do Spotify. Same thing, image properties, small to the left. Right. And I'm gonna add a link here. Grab my podcast link. Open in a new window. Let me show you how you can save some time with this in the future. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your episode And this upper right-hand corner here, you're gonna see source. So you're gonna see source, click on that. Now, this looks like a bunch of jargon to me. I am i don't know how to read code or code or anything like that. But what I'm looking for is Buzzsprout, because I know it's under my Buzzsprout player. And then I'm looking for those little P with the little carrots around it. Normally, in my experience, <laughs> that means that a code is ending and a new one is starting, or at least there's just some space. So uh, what I want to do is look for that. And then I'm going to see here, this is, this is my Spotify link. This is my Apple link. 
So I'm going to copy that all the way up to that P right here. Okay, so I'm going to copy that, and you can make a Google Doc. I got another screen here, but I just saved it to my Google Doc. Um, and so let's try that for another episode. So I just copied and pasted that. Oh my God, I just looked out my window and it is snowing and it is April 21st. Holy cow. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go to another blog post here. So let's go to another episode here. So I don't think I made it for this one yet. So let's go here. Now, instead of doing like we did before where I'm adding images and uh, resizing and trying to fit it underneath the episode, all that stuff, but I'm gonna skip all that. So I'm gonna save you all that time. All you gotta do is click on source right here on this top right-hand corner. And what you wanna do is try and find your player and then look for that P again with the two carrots around it. So let's see, I see Buzzsprout player. I'm looking for the P, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there a little space like that and paste. All right, let's click update. And let's see how it looks. Looks great to me. So this is just a quick way to save you a lot of time. And you could do this with as many links as you want to. And I just keep a Google Doc with, with my embed codes here for that. So that was just a little bit about how I work the Band's Google blog section to really make it work for my podcast and save me some time by using embed codes instead of copying and pasting images every single time I want to upload an episode. Uh, just as, It makes everything a little bit faster for me. 